G'day everyone, Scott here from One Green Thumb Gardening in Toowoomba. Uh, today I just wanted to show you how to connect a little switch onto the side of your Ego blower to have it constantly on turbo. Um, I do a lot of landscaping gardening and when I'm blowing down hotel car parks, just the holding down of the turbo button, strangely enough, becomes quite fatiguing on, on my forearm. So, what I'm doing is putting a little switch on the side so I can turn it on and off. I haven't tried it yet, but I just wanted to show you what I've done to the procedure of what I've done to do this. So, first of all, you'll need to unscrew all the screws on the outside. Uh, just with a Phillips head screwdriver, or I've just got a long Phillips head on my impact drill, makes it quicker. Um, when it comes time to taking this thing off, you'll just need to pry this side off first, and then this side here just pops out, and then push it out to come over the top of that little thing. Then get your screwdriver in, and start from the back, and just bust the seal. Um, and then just excuse my one hand so this bit here wants to come with it so just make sure it stays down there sorry I'll just switched so just pry him up and out and that's him he'll come out and that's what the inside of your ego blower should look like um, when you're at this stage then what we need to do is get to our turbo throttle switch which is down in there um, so first we just take out our throttle switch and as you can see I like to use a just an old ice container so that way I've got all my screws and then we just take out the turbo switch. Now, this has all been siliconed in there and there. So you just need to get a screwdriver. With mine, I just put him down there and just pop, gently popped him out. And then, oops, that's my little device. And then with this one, I just have to get him down and then pry him slowly, got him up. All right, one-handed, a bit tricky. All right, so that's our turbo switch. Now, both of these switches are on, they've got to be held down. Otherwise, they don't work the same with that one there. So, to work, they've got to be held down. So, take that one out. Now, I just went down the J car, and I just bought... Sorry, I'll get out of the light so you can see what it is. It's an SP0735. I don't know if that's the model number, but that's the little switch that I bought. And it actually fits quite comfortably just in there. Um, to drill the hole, that's what I've used, a 12 mil or a 1532, just on my drill. And then, and I'm not the best of solderers. I'm... So I've done this, pre-done this, otherwise you'd be here forever watching my video. Uh, just negative on the negative, positive on the positive. I don't really think it matters too much on this switch, which is negative and which is positive. Because there, it doesn't say anything, so see how we go. Then once I've done that, yeah, just wire them in. That's just a little screwdriver. And then you've got to try and, when we go to get them back in, get our wires, sorry about that light, in behind there, and then just push him back down, make sure he's in nice and snug, and then get our little switch, oh sorry, let's go back one step, to make that fit in there nicely, I just used a pair of tin snips, because that's just what I had sitting on the bench. And I cut out, there's a little flap that looks 
similar to that one, but there's a flap, so I just snipped him out and then snipped that little luggy flap bit out. And that there, and pushes down really nicely in there. And then we just put the throttle back over the top. And that sits just nice. Now, because I busted the seal, it wants to not quite uh, turn off. So what I've done is just cut a tiny bit of plastic off the top of my drill thing. And then I've just popped that. Sorry, where are we? Just straight down in, in behind there. Oh, come in. So get that, jam that in there. Only needed that one mil, it was just enough to make it not want to work. Then put this one back on there. And then with this one, I had to cut that bit there off so that it would because um, otherwise it was pressing on the on the new switch that I just put in so I just cut that off and just hit it with a bit of sandpaper and sanded it down but I've left just enough sorry I've left just enough lip so that it gets caught on that if that makes sense now put our spring in and it's got to go up over that there. I think that should be right. So I'm just going to check it before we put it all back together. Yep. All right, beauty. That's all that put back together. Cover thing on. Okay, springs are in, don't fall out. That's in. That's not sitting. Oh, that's fine. Alright, so. it backwards so from this side working that way just try and get your little plugs all to oh, got a cord hanging out here we'll put him back in we don't want him hanging out all right all right so let's just Whack a couple quick screws in that. Get it up. Process of putting it back together. Now, a reminder that your warranty is not warranted once you perform any such activities to your equipment. So, once you do any modifications or even open it up, Ego says, too bad, so sad. Should have had a technician look at it. But, if Ego had done the right thing and made their equipment so that it was better, you wouldn't have to modify shit. Right, so here comes the tricky part of trying to jam that bit on. Oops. Oh, go on. Screws before it 
falls apart. back to a couple of these screws in a minute. We'll just get the video going so you can see the end result. I'll put one up near this throttle. Oops. Woo. Right. All right, so let's put our snorkel back on. And then we'll try it out. Alright, so I just got my battery pack. So let's see how she goes. So alright. Turn it on at normal. It seems to work. And then try our button. Woo! All right, no more turbo button. Right, oh, no, right. nice. so I've still got my turbo button there. It's variable. And then, when I just need constant turbo, away she goes. Oh, how nice is that? Beauty. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty schmick. That's actually... Ooh. Nice. Alrighty. Um... Thanks for watching my video guys, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, whether or not you want to do the same thing or something different. Um, if you have any comments or opinions or whatever it might be, uh, I'd love to hear them. Like and share and thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks.